talk to Liz from Kalamazoo, Missouri. She listens online, and we're glad she does. Hi, Liz. Welcome. Hi. How are you? Great. How could we help you today? Well, I am. I'm just thrilled that I even got through the the gal I was talking to earlier. Uh, we were laughing. I said it must be divine intervention because I I need to be steeped in your brain pool. Steeped in the brain pool. Okay, well, some people would probably just, argue with that. But so we'll, you don't drown in the brain pool. Yeah, we'll give you all the it brain It could be rather can. shallow. What, uh, what, what can we do for you today? Okay, um, I'm looking for help with discernment. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I met a guy online about four years ago and corresponded with him, I don't know, probably six weeks before we actually met. And, you know, and a lot of times when you're trying to do that, um, you know, meeting them in person, things don't translate yeah. well, and more often than not, it's, right. it's worthless. But we really hit it off and really enjoyed each other's company and started dating, and we're together for, um, I don't know, maybe three or four months, and then I, I, I found out that there were... You know, we were on his computer one day, and there were all these emails and instant messages that yeah. kept popping up. Right. And I said, oh, oh, not good, you know, and started looking into it and found out that, you know, he's corresponding with all these women, blah, 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 broke up with them. Uh, I said, look, you know, clearly you're not ready for this. He's been, he, at that point, he had been divorced, I don't know, maybe four years. Um, oh, now, did you guys get physically involved? Yes, we did. Okay, okay. so he, he uh, probably was involved with, with some of the others, too, there at the same time. Well, and as far as I know, it was, it, it was one. Okay, so, was one so what's the question for us? Okay, the, the question is, I mean, we, we went through all of that um, deceit. We ended up getting back together later, and as other issues came up, I mean, I know that he was married for 20 years, okay? He was the, the youngest of three, uh, a preacher's okay. kid. Okay, L- let, let me s- share this with you. There's nothing you could tell us that would give us more insight in an inconsistent, two-timing man who leads a woman on and gets her physically involved so that she's kind of sexually kidnapped in the relationship. So ask us a question. How could we help you now? Okay, well... You know, he said that, you know, he said, I'm, you know, I... I Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question then. Okay. Are you dating him now? I am. And are you feeling good about that? It comes and goes. Okay. So, well, why why are you dating him? He's a two-timing dishonest man. Well, I'll, I'll tell you why. At the time that I met him, I was I was very isolated. I I had okay. I the I had stopped working to take care of my father who had Alzheimer's. All right. So see, here's here's the deal. You said the word isolated, and I've found most of the time discernment walks on two legs, two other legs, two other legs in yours. Sometimes discernment can be in a wheelchair or have one leg. <laughs> but it's it's most likely going to be another person that gives you discernment because obviously you don't have it, right? No, I did, and I had I, I had some. I, I have a pretty, you know, I have a pretty strong. So uh, you have discernment and desperation, and that's why you didn't act on the discernment. Well, I <laughs> I did. We we broke <laughs> up, but and and I read your book on boundaries, and I also got. Um, you know, I got the book, pushing, Who's Pushing Your Buttons, and it talked about different kinds of liars and things to do. Okay, but I'm, you know. I'm trying to help okay. you. What, what's the question then in the relationship? Do you want to know if you should continue with him or not or what? I, I do. Okay. He, I, I mean, he seems to be very repentant for the things okay. that he's done. And, and so, so that's beautiful. In very many ways, he's a wonderful man. <laughs> yes, of yeah. course, he's not all bad. And, and he feels bad when he gets caught. But here's the question. Repentance doesn't mean I feel really bad about this. Repentance means I identify my problem, and now I'm going to go do something 
so that that problem is eradicated. And that's something that I'm going to do is not just trying harder. I am going to go and get some help. I'm going to get uh, some guys alongside me. You need women alongside you as badly as he needs men alongside him. You know, he, he's not repentant, Liz, because what Steve just described is repentance. He's just sorry. And what's he sorry for? Maybe he's only sorry that he got caught. You know, and, and you haven't seen repentance. You might be sorry that Liz, he looks stupid. Liz, is that true? Yeah. yeah. Is that true? Are you seeing that? What they're talking about? He's he, he, he's really sorry. Uh, he, okay, I'll tell you what he did. Okay, he well, said, you know, I, I know this was awful. I'm I am really sorry. He's like, I know that you don't trust me anymore. I will do whatever I need to do. I don't care what you put me through, put me through whatever paces you want. I will prove to you that I am trustworthy. How horrible. How horrible. Puts that it, is. Puts, puts it, it all right on you. On you whatever <laughs> you need versus him saying, I'm a man and I've messed up here. And here's what I'm going to do to build character. So you'll be proud to be dating me and hopefully one day you'll be proud to be my wife. He didn't do that, though. He see? did say that, though. Oh. I mean, he did but say he, those things. He didn't do it. He wants you to tell him what to do. And then if it doesn't work, it's your fault. He, he didn't say, here's what I'm going to do, because he didn't do anything but talk to you. Well, he did. I mean, he took, he took, he shut, he canceled all of his no, instant he, message programs. He did some okay. things to stop some things, but he didn't do some things to start the character building. We'll be back. Jill Hubbard, we're over here talking with Liz. And uh, Liz, uh, Liz, you there? Yes, I am. Thank you. Well, Liz, let me jump in for a second because I know that they're coming down hard on you, um, but making Which very... Oh, no, we're hard on him. Okay, yeah. that's true. Hard on him. Hard hard on him. And, you know, if we list someone's bad parts, you know, everybody sounds like a jerk. And so it's hard when you're in a relationship because they have good parts as well. I think, though, Liz, your discernment goes out the window the moment you sleep with him because then, especially as a woman, you have invested so much of yourself that you are more invested in it working than really looking at it objectively you're and correct and that's why i stopped okay oh good. oh good good for you good you did well that's great so i think you know now he's coming to you and at saying he'll do anything okay that's great but i think what the guys are trying to say is he needs to initiate some things you know and start doing them apart from you and then you observe him from afar. How, how long have you been involved with him from the first emails? Almost four years. Almost four oh, years. Okay, okay. You were and right. he's only yeah. been divorced four years. No, at oh. the time that I met him. Oh, okay. And now why did he get okay. why did okay. he get divorced? What happened? Did he have well, an affair? Well, see, this is the thing, I, and I understand, and I know from talking to friends of his, he was devastated. I mean. He thought when he got married, that was it. They had three kids. They were married for 20 years. And he found out that his wife was cheating on him. Okay. And she left and moved in. She went so, from their house to her boyfriend. So he okay. knows what it's like to be cheated yeah. on. And yet he plays around in the relationship with you, you know, with other people now and then. And, uh, you know, he, here's what I would do. I, I would say to him... You know, I, I don't want to see you for a while because I want you to f develop a program of, of integrity for yourself, and I want you to implement it, and then as you have been doing it for a couple of months, then come back and tell me what you're doing, what you're learning, yep. and, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And, yeah. well, and I, I'm, I'm happy for you that you stopped being involved sexually because that's going to help, and that's yeah. probably why you're questioning more now. Because Jill's right on in what she's saying about that, uh, and and you know, put it put the burden on him. And if he doesn't pull it off, then keep going, keep moving on. But if he starts to pull it off, and then he, but but give him time and make sure that he stays with it. Then and it doesn't have to be expensive stuff. There's free things out there that he can get involved in in recovery that that's going to well, make a difference Well, and also to look at the ways in which he is taking out his anger towards his ex-wife on yeah. other women right. yeah. because he's lashing back. Yeah. Okay, so we're saying make him stay out there, be by himself, see what he does. If he's 
faithful, if he gets involved in group counseling, yeah. some things like that, try to get over so he's not angry at his yeah. ex anymore. Those are the kind of things that say maybe we've got some hope yeah. here. Divorce recovery, reco other recovery type groups, but a counselor would be excellent. Uh, whatever he's able to do would be great. But okay. he's got to come up with it, and he's got to implement it. It's not going to be your job. Don't yeah. dare let it be your job. Rich. Yeah, don't become the mom. You need some women around you. I'll send you the secrets women keep. It'll help you. You need to connect with other women, and this will help you do that. All right, let's talk with... Uh,